In addition to evaluating visualizations based on the ASK acronym, it is important to consider the purpose of a data visualization. Is the visualization meant to inform, persuade, or entertain? The transportation infographic is an example of a visualization that is meant to inform. It provides information and facts without attempting to convince the viewer to adopt a particular belief or opinion. A persuasive visualization presents data in order to advance an argument. The visualization might directly state the argument, such as the visualization arguing that sitting is killing you. Featuring statements such as, sitting increases risk of death up to 40%. Or the visualization might be more subtle in its persuasion, such as this visualization from the American Heart Association that advances an argument for limiting sodium in restaurant food. Finally, some data visualizations are meant for entertainment only, meaning the data they present is not meant to be relied upon, such as this visualization of how to tell if your cat is plotting to kill you. Many visualizations meant for entertainment will be much more subtle than this. When looking at any data visualization, it's important to consider the source of the data and who the intended audience is. Are the viewers really intended to learn anything from this visualization, as with an informative visualization? Are viewers supposed to change their mind or be convinced of an opinion or belief, as with a persuasive visualization? Or is the visualization intended to be fun and entertaining without necessarily imparting real facts or ideas? You can use these same principles when creating your own data visualizations, which will be discussed in the next video.